So what happens is you get the normal zombies in the early game, and then somewhere about... Oh, shit! I was just thinking to myself, hey, that didn't kill you? You are one tough bastard. Welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to be looking for the elusive crowbar. If you guys catched the last episode, or I should probably say caught the last episode if I'm going to use proper grammar, um, well, English grammar anyway, then uh, you saw that I had a heartbreaking experience. I didn't find the parts I needed to make neither the motorcycle or the 4x4 and the crowbar broke on us. It was a sad, sad day. But what we're going to do in this episode is we are going to be looking for the crowbar. That is our number one prime directive, ultimate goal. And we're going to give it the good old college try. Uh, because again, I've told, I said this to you guys several times. I don't want to move down south with a mini bike. I mean, pain in the ass, right? And so we are here at the tool store. We're just a little north of our town. Um, so this is, uh, this is our town here. And we're just up here, not too far away from uh, Trader Joel here in the desert. And, of course, we have a working stiff, and we also have a, a little gas station, a passing gas across the way there. And I'm thinking, you know, a passing gas and or a tool store is going to give us the best option or the best bet for potentially finding a crowbar. You know what I should have done, damn it? I should have... I didn't bring any money with me, did I? I should have seen if we could find some uh, eye candy. Uh, I don't want to run all the way back to do that now, though, so let's just carry on. Uh, we are going to use Luckies the whole time. We'll get a little bit less XP out of the deal, but, you know, it's okay. Because uh, we want to find the crowbar. And it is almost daytime, so I have been foolishly out at night. I know, can't teach an old guy how to be um, practical or safe or make good decisions. We just make bad decisions, but that's okay because we have fun doing it, and you guys are entertained at my expense. Okay? Nurse Nancy, you are way faster than any zombie has a right to be, particularly because, you know, you're a little bit rotten. Okay, so she's dead. Uh, the other thing I want to let you guys know, too, is I am live streaming. Uh, this is Saturday afternoon, so I have a live audience. Hi, live audience. Everybody say hello. Uh, but we are going to be doing this in normal Let's Play style. I have the overlay removed. No alerts will fire off. I'll occasionally address chat, so if you hear me talking to somebody, it's not because I'm crazy. Well, I am crazy. Uh, but it's because there are actual real peeps here. So, um, but again, this will be just a normal let's play for those of you who are watching the YouTube video later on. Okay, so enough said. Let's see. It is 3.30, so we still have to be careful. Let's take the bike over to the gas station. I do have a bedroll up on top of the gas station roof. This is one of those wonderful, wonderful roofs that are half blocks, which means no zombos or vultures can spawn up there. So if we do die, at least we know we can safely resurrect without getting at. Um, you know what? We might as well loot this gas pump, too. I hear, I hear footsteps. Okay. Let's fill this thing up here. And let's grab some of these to refresh the tank. There we go. Um, right before I started the recording, and I'm sorry I should have started this, started the recording before I did this, but I just didn't think about it. Uh, we killed a, I think it's called a, a wrath or something. Terror wrath, night terror wrath guy. And yeah, we, we kicked his ass. It was great. Oh, shit. Look at that. Running horde, man. Let's let them just go on by. I don't think we want to mess with those guys. I don't have a problem taking on one, maybe even two normal running zombies. But that many? Uh-uh. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Not at this point, anyways. We don't have enough firepower to be dealing with that. Okay, let's go on inside here and um, see what kind of mischief... We can get ourselves into. I keep hearing shit. All right. Where is... What's supposed to be down here? Let's put this down here, I guess. I am carrying around the stove repair kit with me, too. So here's the thing. One of you guys told me in the comments that I can just make the stove in the workbench. No. doesn't work that way. In the workbench, you make the stove repair kit. And according to the instructions, you have to find a stove. Ah, oh, it's morning. <sighs> We're safe now. No. Um... You have to find a stove, and you have to use this to repair the stove in place. So I have it with me, so if we come across a stove, I just want to confirm that that's how it works. 
um, preferably, you know, in a place that's close to our base, but whatever. That's not a high priority right now. Crowbar is a high priority. Oh, shit. You're feral. Dude, it's morning. Settle down. I am using a, a kukri now because I found a, a really good one, you know, instead of our, our katana. Will you bleed out, please? All right, he did. So, yeah, we're trying that out, and uh, it, it actually does more damage, you know, than the katana did. So we switched to it. But, yeah, it works pretty much the same. Same attack animation and all that. All right, let's get the pick up the paper. I'm not going to do basic looting, guys. Uh, we'll loot more important things like medicine cabinets, um, you know, fat loots, crates. I guess money's important, you know. We'll do that. But I'm not going to do, like cabinets we don't need to get jars anymore thank god we can make our own jars it's just it's a wonderful thing guys wonderful thing uh so i don't i don't have to <clears throat> excuse me loot every freaking cupboard that we come across like we've been doing that is a thing of the past um okay we're just gonna scrap these for paper because we are on the lookout for paper for shotgun shells we might as well hit this because you know we get some twine and stuff from it and of course we will never pass up brass well almost never Okay, let's break the door and get some hinges, hopefully, and then get ready to rumble. Okay, we got uh, Biker Billy and Farmer, Farmer, uh, Farmer Zombie, whatever the hell I call him. Hey, hold still. You dead. You dead. Who's out here? Nurse Nancy? Oh, you're a freaking T2, Nurse Nancy. You sound scary, Nurse Nancy. Make a sound. Oh. See, listen to her. The tier two zombos, man. Scare Ow! Scary sounds. He's a tier two also. Oh, shit, he's mad now. He's angry! Yeah. <laughs> Somebody got blowed up. The sad thing about that is it wasn't me that blowed them up. Okay, you did. All right, let's go back in here. Oh, you know what? We should probably take one of these. We got banged up a little bit there, didn't we? All right, I think we've taken care of all the Zeeks up above. We're going to probably have some down below, but let's see. I don't think we're going to find a crowbar in a cabinet, but... You know, you never know. I guess we should probably be looking in them because we are in um, a pass and gas. I did find the one crowbar several episodes ago. I just don't remember how or where uh, I found it. But there's a high probability we were in a place like this, you know, when we did find it. So let's uh, let's keep checking these. I keep seeing jars and thinking, oh, man, we found a jar, but... You know, it's not it's not a thing anymore for us. Oh, we will take those. We're still trying to build up a few more things in our garden, like uh, cucumbers and stuff like that, so we can start eating green salad. Okay, let's purge a couple of these things. Look at this, guys. I'm throwing a jar away. Can you believe that? I'm actually throwing a jar away. You know we have come a long way in Ravenhurst when old guy throws jars out. We're going to throw out the light bulbs, too, and I think we're going to keep everything else. We can make the big medikit, so blood bags are precious. We want to hang on to those. Uh, for sure. All right, let's go down here. Um, I'm expecting a bit of more of a fight. And, um, oh, let's look at the car, too. Nurse Ratchet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Nurse Ratchet. We should have thumped her with our ratchet, just, you know, so everything is, is appropriate. I hear a tier two out here. Guys, the zombies scale with Ravenhurst. So what happens is you get the normal zombies in the early game, and then somewhere about... Oh, shit! I was just thinking to myself, hey, that didn't kill you? You are one tough bastard. Huh. Uh, <laughs> I was just thinking to myself, too, man. If he hits that car, it's going to blow up. And then it happened like a split second later. Literally a split second later. Uh, it didn't hurt us, though. Thank God. I'm not going to take lead. That's uh, I've got a box. I mean, a storage crate full of stacks of lead. So we're not taking that. Okay, anyway. Um... Let's recover our frames. Frames are not cheap to make in this this game, even though they're not a problem for us anymore, but still. What was I talking about now? I always lose track. 
Trouble? What was I talking about? We were talking about something. Um, me throwing jars away. Oh, zombies. Yeah, so in the early game, you get normal zombies, right? And then when you start kind of getting into mid-game, you start seeing what are called T1 zombies, and they're tougher. You know, they have more hit points, and uh, they're meaner, they're tougher, that sort of thing. And now what we're seeing is Tier 2 zombies, which are even tougher and even have scarier sounds, which is a nice touch. Because he's going to blow that car up. Um, I kind of would like to loot that car, but I don't want to go down there. Here, can we... I don't have very high skill, guys, in um, assault rifles. This might blow up the car, but let's just try it anyways. Okay, car is good. Uh, we should be able to thump you from here. Yeah, remember what I said earlier. Progression is really, really slow in this mod. So even though I have a really nice, you know, high-end pistol here, my handgun skill sucks. I mean, it's terrible. Let's take... Oh, shit. I tend to get stuck in the wall in Ravenhurst, too. It's just the weirdest thing. I've never seen that happen in vanilla. But the zombies will push you into the wall. It's just... It's bizarre. Anyway, uh, handgun skill. Look at this. So we have... Uh, action skills. We have four points. <laughs> <laughs> and pistol weapons. So if you're wondering why it's taken me 100 shots to kill something, it's because of that. It's also because we are playing on insane difficulty. So, I mean, everything's just tougher anyways, right? Let's take a look in this car and see if we can find a crowbar. Come on, crowbar. We need you. No, but you know what? That's kind of nice. Um, this is um, this is kind of an interesting thing. It uh, it talks about the coronavirus, and it, and it says there was a seventh wave of covid but the, actually, the seventh wave wasn't COVID at all, but it was a zombie virus. So if you guys are interested on the, who are watching the uh, the YouTube Let's Play later, pause the screen and read that if you want to. It's kind of funny. Uh, I'm not going to pick it up, though, of course. Okay. So let's get down here. Make sure. Uh, let's check this thing. I don't know. Can you find crowbars and loot bags? No, but we'll take that. We like steroids. Okay. That's going to give us a really good chance of finding a crowbar. But let's just see what's in here first. Um, I'm not going to take that. I'm not going to take that stuff. We're not going to take the cobblestone. You you know, looting cobblestone and stuff in Ravenhurst is not worth it. You get like one piece. I'm, I kid you not. It's just pathetic. Okay, so we got four, three or four boxes here. Steroids. I'm not going to rip this off anymore because the barricades pretty much are worthless now. The zombies will one-shot them, so I don't use them anymore. That's a very nice find, but that's not what we're looking for. Let's try this one. Um, okay. Still not what we're looking for. One more chance here. Of course we find the blacksmith forge schematic after I have ground and ground for weeks to get intellect all the way up to level 10 so that I could make one. And then we find... I'm just kidding. It's fun. <laughs> Look at this, too, man. That's a really nice pick. I mean, you know, it's a, it's a red pick. Stupid game, though. Seriously, you know what I mean? It happens every freaking time, doesn't it? Happens every freaking time. You look for something, and you look for something, and you wait for something, and you work for something, and you grind for something, and you finally get it, and then the next day you find a schematic for it. It's just the way Seven Days to Die works. Ugh. What can you do, right? What can you do? Okay. Let's... <laughs> <laughs> did we did we loot everything else? I think we did. Is there anything back here? Yeah, we've already looted all this stuff. Okay, let's go to the tool store. Let's go over to the tool store. Unbelievable. No, actually, it's very believable. It's absolutely the way things go. Absolutely. Okay, let's drop a couple things off in here. Oh, that we're going to sell. That we're probably going to sell. Sell, sell. Oh, you know what? Let's keep the coinage now in case we happen to find some eye candy. Um, this, I mean, we're going to sell this. There's no point in learning it, so we might as well sell it because we know how to do it, right? Uh, put that in there. Are we healthy? Yeah, we're healthy. So I'm going to put that away. Uh, I think I'm going to just keep the stove repair kit and the bike for now, too. We will keep the steroids with us because we're probably going to need them. And let's go ahead and we're not going to drink this water because... 
you have a 10% chance of dysentery with boiled water in Ravenhurst. It's bullshit. Absolute, pure, unadulterated bullshit. But it's the way it works. So let's go ahead and down a hobo stew too. We can put this gas in here. And I think, yeah, I think, well, let's see. Let's put one more thing in here. I don't think we're going to need our hammer in the tool store. So let's put that in there and then we're good to go. All right. So let's head on in here and um, should we, yeah, let's just deal with the Zeeks first. Wake up, little Susies. Come on, let's go. I got some loot to do and I don't have time to be messing with you guys. Have a, have a kukri in the face. Okay, everybody line up. Cut that out. No running allowed. Ow. Big mama? Sledgehammer sandwich for your lunch. There you go. All right, any more runners? Are we all just walkers? Come out this way, guys. Through the door. There you go. Dumbasses. Zombies are stupid, you know that? You know who the dumbest zombie is in this game, though? It's the it's the fat Hawaiian guy. I swear, he's got the worst brain worms of every zombie in this game. The worst. Say goodnight, Gracie. Okay. Did we clear everybody out of the front room here? I think so. Got everybody out of here. Oh, look at this. Insert 100 chips to spin. Like, just... Dukes? It's not doing anything. Do we have to put them in our... Oh, I... Did I leave those in the bike? I left them in the bike. Okay. Did I not just say let's bring the coins with us in case we find a, a thing? Could have sworn I said that. Let's break through here. Where's that coming from? Up above? What? What the hell? Where did they come from? Oh shit! From there! You know, you guys aren't very honorable, stupid zombies. Sneaking up on an old guy like that. You should at least announce that you're coming. Here, let's close that door. Okay. Let's get let's help this guy out a little bit. Hey, dude, do you know how to work the vending machine? I'd like to try it out. He's not interested in talking about... Uh, did I say vending machine? I meant slot machine. You guys knew that. You guys knew that. Hold still. See, the thing about sleepers is you have to kill them all. If you don't and you run away, they just repop. And I'd rather just kill them all now so we can then just loot in peace, you know? Um, is there even a sleepy in here? No, but there is a, a box. Okay, we'll come back for that later. We got a Nurse Nancy here. Off with your head. Nobody else over here. There's somebody out on the outside, but I think that's maybe just a wandering Zikaru. Are you feral? It broke that uh, trim piece off. There we go. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Okay, I think we can loot in peace, ladies and gentlemen. We probably have some Zeekers up upstairs, but we'll, you know, we'll take care of them when the time comes. Okay, here we go. 
We need a crowbar game. Absolutely need a crowbar. That's not a crowbar. Come on. Cut me some slack here. Um, is there a vending machine around that we can look for eye candies? Eh, I don't want to spend a ton of time looking for eye candy. Shamway Foods. Let's just run over there real quick. We've dealt with the sleepies, at least the downstairs sleepies, so we don't have to worry about them anymore. There's a lot of Zeeks in here. Um, I don't see a vending machine. There probably is one in there, but... There's another slot machine. Are we in Nevada or what? Insert 500 chips to spend. Holy shit, that one's more expensive than the other one. Get out of here. All right, Lino, let's not screw around looking for a vending machine. We could burn like two hours just trying to find one. Let's just get, get to... To the business at hand here. We already looked in there. Guess who left their mini bike over at the Shamway? That was a smart move. Actually, you know what I'm doing? I'm getting my, my cardio in for the day. Because, you know, tell me everybody, what's the number one rule in the zombie apocalypse? Y'all better know that. If you're watching if you're watching a dude play a zombie game, you better know what the number one rule is in the zombie apocalypse. You just better. If you don't, then just lie and say that you do, because it'll make me feel better. Okay? Alright, let's see. Let's check in this thing. Nothing there. Um this is going to be a little bit tedious. For those of you watching uh, the YouTube video, I'll, I'll, I'll just time-lapse this. But for those of you guys on the stream, uh, we're going to have to loot a bunch of shit. But we, you know, we have a chance. Whoops. We have a chance of finding the crowbar in these shelves. We're going to find a bunch of wrenches and hammers. I can tell you that right now. What was that? Gun repair kits? Yes. Beautiful. I'll take those. We like those. Immora, what's going on? Good to see you. Um, okay. So when you loot these shelves, it loots on both sides. So you only have to go down one side of the aisle. This is the smaller tool store, too. There's a there's a larger one somewhere in the world, if it's spawned in. We should also get a decent amount of repair kits here, too. Come on, crowbar. I am looking for a crowbar all the live long day. You better give me a crowbar or I'm going to go away. Holy, what? Didn't your mama ever teach you any manners, little girl? Respect your elders. Okay, look at that. Guys, enough, it doesn't get any better than that. That is like the best, highest quality item in the game. 1,000 item. Damn. I feel special. I really do. I feel special. What's in here? Uh, yeah, we'll take that too. Let's see if we can find a burnt burger. And eh, we don't need charcoal. No, you know what? Quit looking in that stuff. We're not going to find crowbars in a barbecue. At least I don't think we will. We need to be looking in the stuff that's going to give us tools. It's just, you know, it's, it's, uh, I'm a lootaholic, like everybody who plays survival games is. You just naturally have to loot everything. That's all there is to it. Come on, crowbar. Nope, I don't need a wiring kit. I need a crowbar. There's a difference. Crowbar's long. It's kind of curvy. Gordon Freeman loves him. Okay, let's check here. The, she looked like the girl from the old game of Fear. Yeah. She kind of reminds me of, like, the Adams Family uh, Mortician. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. Those are satanic uh, wrenches, guys. Look at that. Both of them. We're going to have to sell those to Trader Wreck. <laughs> Maybe they're cursed. <laughs> I 
I would never sell those to Trader Jin or Trader... Well, none of them, really. Maybe Hugh. Hughes can be an asshole sometimes. But Trader Rec, yeah, we're going to save those for him and we're going to sell them to him. We're going to tell him that, you know, they've been uh, exercised first. We called up the priest and, you know, he came by and did the exorcist thing on him. That's what we're going to tell him. But actually, in reality, we're just going to give them to him and they'll still be possessed. Because he deserves it. He's an asshole. Okay. Well, we're finding good stuff. We're just not finding what we need to find. But we're not done yet. We still have more store to do. Okay, so we're finished with all this stuff, right? Um, uh, We're probably not going to find a crowbar in a toilet. We could find a pistol in a toilet, but not a crowbar. Let's just look anyway, because what the hell? Nothing. Crowbar in a utility cart, maybe? Nope. All right. Let's see, is there anything? Yeah, ammo pile. It should say up there. Yeah, there we go. Magic. Floating ammo pile. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. I can make a magnum, it's just that I have such shitty handgun skill that it, it'll be like level one, you know? So what's the point? We'll eventually come across a good one, I'm sure. Anything up here? Nope, nothing up there. Let's loot some coffee. Or not. Uh, I guess we'll check the trash. I mean, somebody could theoretically throw a crowbar in the trash, right? Let's check the bookcases. There's still several schematics we could learn. They just have to be in the bookcase. Come on, come on. Nah, I'm not going to deal with that shit. Crowbar in the desk, maybe? Uh, no, but we have some some of those. Oh shit! You know what, guys? I don't uh, I don't have my lock picks with me. That's not good. That is not good at all. I can make them. I just don't have them with me. Um, here, let's check the car. Seriously. We're, we're getting a bit encumbered here, too, so we're going to have to figure that one out. Supposedly, we can find backpack upgrades in dumpsters, but I've never found... I don't think I've ever found one in Ravenhurst. You usually find them in, like, dressers and um, uh, lockers and stuff. Oh! I need that! I need that, you guys! I absolutely need that! I just can't pick it up without a crowbar. I don't think I can, anyway. I'm pretty sure I can't. Here, let's test this on... Here, i got to throw a couple things out. We don't need iron... Or anything that scraps into iron. We don't need nails. That'll sell for 50 coin. I kind of don't want to throw 50 coin on the ground. Uh, we don't really need cloth. Well, we don't need this. These are super easy to make. So, yeah, I guess we'll throw 18 coin on the ground. I mean, you know, what can you do? We have such limited inventory space, right? Okay, so this is the piece that I need to make the motorcycle. This is called a flat radiator. And I was looking for that yesterday like, like crazy. Um, I don't think I can salvage it with a ratchet. I think I need a crowbar, but this is also a special piece, and I don't care if we wreck that because we already have multiples of those. So let's just see what happens. Yeah, see, we're just getting scrap iron. I'm not going to wreck this because this is what we need. So we're going to keep that there and remember that it's there which is an important thing for someone at my age, remembering shit like that. So that once we finally do find the elusive crowbar, we can come back here, pick it up, and then we'll, we'll be able to make the motorcycle. Okay, so that makes me happy that we actually found it. We just need to find the tool to actually harvest it now. Nothing in there. We'll check the backpack. Um, oh, yep, yeah, that was worth checking. I'll take both of those things. We're going to have to go back to the to the bike here in a second and you know see if we can offload some more stuff. Oh, no, don't hit that. Those of you who are new to Ravenhurst, if you're wondering why does no guy just make a chest and put extra stuff in it and come back for it later, well, you can't. You kind of can't do that. I mean, you sort of kind of can, but you can't. This is Ravenhurst, guys. There are... 
are only a handful of things you can make in your inventory. Everything else, you need some kind of a crafting station uh, to make those things. And, you know, a wooden storage chest is not one of those things. You can pick up... The only thing... Oh, good. The only thing you can do is you can pick up, like, um, backpacks, purses, duffel bags, sports bags. You can pick those up and set them down somewhere else because you don't destroy them. Um, and put stuff in those, but you know, they have very limited slots. You can pick up three trash bags and combine them into one larger, uh, storage thing, trash bags, but you need a, the workstation to do that. And I don't have enough room to be carrying around an extra workstation. So, you know, we just deal with it. We deal with it as best as we can. Okay, let's see what we can uh, use the magic stack button first on. Okay, that didn't gain us a whole lot of space, did it? Um, I think what we're going to do is rely upon our good friend, Mr. Steroid, for the rest of this run. We could throw the jar out and put something else in there, but that doesn't get us a whole lot, does it? Anything else that really just isn't that important that I'm hanging on to right at the moment? Uh, we get. We're gonna need these here. Let's let's actually eat that right now. We're gonna need these for uh, the water barrel thing, uh, rain catcher rather. Once I finally get to the point where I can actually make one of those. Okay, we'll put the blueprint thingamadoodle in there. We don't need the iron. Uh, we're kind of low on mechanical parts, so I want to hang on to that. And I guess we're gonna have to carry everything else with us. Uh, we don't need the plastic. We've got tons of plastic, like over a full stack of it, back at the base. Uh, we don't need the bolt. Same thing. So you just have to look at everything and consider, do I really need to be carrying this right now, you know? Uh, I just, I'm not going to throw ammunition away. Sorry, can't do it. Absolutely can't do it. Uh, the tuna, we can make a tuna sandwich and a tuna fish gravy toast with that, so I don't want to throw that away. That's some pretty good food. You really come to appreciate food, like totally almost worship food in Ravenhurst. So you just can't throw it out, you know? Let's eat a bug kebab. Because, you know, I like grasshoppers on a stick. It's good shit. And let's drink one of these. We don't really need to, but we'll do it anyway. Okay, we can move pretty good, but I do have... I have, a st I have some steroids, so once we get to the point where we're just completely bogged down, you know, then we'll... Uh, we'll fix things at that point. Okay, so now what we have to do is go up on the roof. We're probably going to run into some buzzards up there. So let's get our shoddy ready. Make sure everybody's loaded. Okay, we're good. Let's head on up here. We might run into... Okay, something just aggroed us. Where is it? Buzzard? Is it just you, Nurse Nancy? Okay. It's the buzzards that are the worst because they'll just swoop down on you. Okay, I guess we don't have any buzzards up here. Everybody's a walker. No runners. So that's makes things nice and easy here. We need to get a bleed on you. Let's get a bleed on you. And let's get a bleed on you. And then we'll just kind of Chill out here, get a little bit of stamina back while they come towards us. No running allowed. Let's reapply your bleed, your bleed, your bleed, and they're dead. They just don't know yet. Okay, before we jump off the roof, I will take an egg. I'm not going to take any feathers. We got tons of feathers back at the base. Okay, is this wood or metal? That's metal. Nothing. What the hell, man? What about in here? That's like really strong metal. I don't think this is a plug. This is probably just on the surface. Yeah, okay, whatever. Waste of time. But we had to try, right? We had to try. Let's see if there's an egg in here. Nope. Uh, what are these shenanigans? Got a purse. Could you fit a crowbar in a purse? You probably could if it was a small one. You know, like one of those little short crowbars. 
Or either that or have a big-ass purse. I mean, that would work too, right? Makes sense to me, anyway. Okay. Uh, normally, I would loot this guy to, you know, to get the spoiled flesh for hobo stew, but... Again, um... We gotta be conservative today. Oh, weapons bag! Okay, come on, give us something good. Give us something good. Something big that goes boom. That's not... Ex well, I guess, technically, shotgun shells go boom, don't they? Okay, here's the room with the fat loots. Uh, are we gonna get rushed in here? Probably. Are we? Oh, maybe not. Okay. All right, tool store. This is your last opportunity to give us a uh, a um, a crowbar. Come on, let's do this. That's nice stuff, but that's not a crowbar. See, I have to point that out to you guys because you, otherwise you might have thought some of that stuff was a crowbar. You know what I mean? Uh, what's this? Scrap armor repair kit. Oh, you know what? Um, this is getting close. We're going to have to repair that pretty quick. So now we can do that um, out in the field. In fact, maybe we should do it just to free up the slot, you know? Uh, that's pretty nice. And what is this? Blunt skill. Okay. Okay. Uh, we're going to save these and read them later because, um, you know, w this is an action skill per system. So whenever you find those free books, you always want to save them until later on when it's harder to get the skills, you know. Uh, and very nice. Okay, we'll take all that too. And um, there's one more box up here before we do the fat loots. Come on, crowbar. Please. Be nice to me. That's nice shit. It really is, but again, not what we're looking for. Okay, let's look in the fat loots. I don't think we'll find a crowbar in the fat loots, but maybe we will. Very nice hunting rifle. And a pretty nice wooden bow, which we'll probably just sell both of those things. Okay, good stuff. Not what we're looking for. We are seriously encumbered now, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to pull this off, and actually, we might as well just repair this, too, because more more because we need the space than anything else, right? So we got to pull all the mods off. For, or do we have to pull the mods off? We shouldn't have to. Well, here's the thing, though, about this. When you repair something, and you know, remember I told you earlier, well, if you guys were on the stream at the moment, um... It drops the quality down like 100 points, and if, if you lose a mod slot, then I guess the mod just pops off, so you don't actually lose it. But anyway, whatever. Let's just repair this. It's probably going to take it down to the next level. It's not red anymore. Um, so, okay, we still have all the slots, though. Okay, so we're good there. That means we should be able to repair this uh, without losing anything. Now, I know it's still... Hmm. Eh, Let's just do it. We need the slot. That probably wasn't a smart thing. I should have waited until it was down further, but... I think we... Did we lose, like, one explosion resistance? I think we did, but, you know, whatever. What can you do, right? Okay, so... Can we get out of here without popping a steroid? Let's just break through here. I'd rather save the steroids if we can, right? So we're going to be just a little bit slow here. Is that a plug or is that just a pallet up against the wall? I think it's just a pallet up against the wall. All right. Well, um, those of you who are watching the YouTube episode, I think we can go ahead and wrap up the episode here. I'm going to go back to the base and kind of regroup. It's noon and we're going to just continue our search for a crowbar. So that is the plan. Uh, for the next episode. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.